Hey guys, so right after Donald Trump's inaugura inauguration, um, NBC actually, right now as you can see live, is covering um, protesting that's happening right outside of the capital city. And um, I just thought that this was so, you know, interesting. It, it actually gave me chills when I saw them, uh, the police actually shooting tear gas and so forth at the crowd. And apparently what NBC is saying is that um, these protesters were pelting bricks and so forth and were hurting the police and so forth and it looks like these police are really serious so um, and uh, you know this is probably a lesson on both sides of the story especially because of that extreme level of passion perhaps that the, the protesters have versus the police that are just doing their jobs and it's you know it's kind of sad when you know the police you know get hurt in the process because uh, you know they didn't, uh, they don't decide on who is going to be president and so forth. And um, you know, the thing is, you just have to be. Whether this would make sense or not, and this protesting doesn't really make sense. Well, in this case, it probably wouldn't. Uh, it's about a thousand protesters according to NBC, and it probably wouldn't make a difference because I mean, you already have uh, voting that took place, and it's probably most likely a legal thing. So. And that's not going to change the, the president per se. Maybe it might make the president aware that you know not everybody is happy and so forth. There, um, at this point in time, you know, I was not really. Uh, I didn't think that the, you know Trump would have been a, a, a good candidate for a president. But at this point in time, is it, it doesn't really make sense anymore to protest. We have to just see what Trump can do. Um, thank goodness, you know, I don't have to vote. I didn't. I, I don't. I am not a U.S. citizen, so I didn't vote and so forth and thing. Um, but you know this is this is the challenge sometimes with politics the politics especially when it's near 50 50 you know 54 a specific president and 50 against near that um you tend to have this issue this is actually an issue very similar to trinidad in terms of the 50 50 percentage and um we just have to we just have to hope and pray and and look and see if he's going to that if president trump is going to actually do uh, good or is he going to do bad because when he uh, the, the president especially when they you know change up stuff in the US it, it affects um, <laughs> Third world countries as well like Trinidad and Tobago and so forth. So um, I thought that was interesting So if you do if you're online now, you should probably go check out what's going on on NBC and uh, CNN didn't even cover this so I don't know I really and truly I'm not even sure CNN is, is, a, is a news network anymore. Alright guys, so stay safe and uh, take care. Bye.